The many enemies in Resident Evil play a big role in defining the series, and in the series there has been a lot of scrapped enemies throughout. In this video, I will be going over a few of the cancelled enemies, so with that being said, let's get right into it. The Tyrant Inferior was a scrapped enemy that was supposed to appear in one of the first Resident Evil titles, but never made the cut. It is unclear if it would have been a boss, or if there would have been multiple Tyrant Inferiors. But given that Umbrella attempted to convert many human hosts to a full Tyrant, but had failed, it would not be surprising if there was multiple Tyrant Inferiors. They could have been experiments which failed to transition all the way into a Tyrant, since most hosts could not handle the process. Wesker's Monster was originally slated for Resident Evil Zero on the Nintendo 64. It can be seen in the developer diary video from 2015 showing a 2016 Resident Evil Zero remaster. It was scrapped after it was determined that Albert Wesker would not be the main villain in Resident Evil Zero because the story writers had issue in the timeline and trying to link the game to Resident Evil 1. This would make sense given that Albert Wesker was still undercover as a STARS member at the start of Resident Evil 1. Spider-Man shows what looks like a giant tarantula taking over a human host, with its fangs possibly embedded in the back of its neck. Given that its legs and arms are embedded in the human host, it is possible that the spider could have been using the human body more like a physical puppet, rather than taking over its brain or nerves. The zombie ape slider for the original Resident Evil 2 was supposed to be unleashed by an umbrella transport vehicle in the parking lot of the Raccoon City Police Department during the outbreak. It is unclear if these were bioweapons which Umbrella was trying to transport out of the city for safekeeping, or whether Umbrella transported them into the city to unleash them as part of their sick experiment. The Liquor Zombie, along with the Wheelchair Zombie and Condemned, are shown in concept art that can be unlocked in the Resident Evil 2 remake, and these enemies were originally slated to be in the game. The Liquor Zombie appears to be a zombie with a liquor's head, suggesting that it may be a liquor that is not fully transformed. Another theory is that it could have been a new type of liquor as a result of infecting a zombie host, rather than an actual human host. The wheelchair zombie, still wearing a lab coat, visually appears as if it could be an Umbrella Laboratory scientist, possibly in the early stages of a G-Virus transformation, or one who has not completely or successfully transformed. Given that he is still using the controls on his wheelchair and has some level of previous intelligence, it is unlikely that he has the standard T-Virus infection. The Condemned appears to show a skinny child in some sort of neck brace. It was originally scheduled to show up in the orphanage section of the Resident Evil 2 remake. Given that Umbrella did experiments on the children at this orphanage, this may explain this transformation. Secondly, if one reads the details of all the lore, there was a child named Oliver in the orphanage who had undergone some very cruel experiments by Umbrella. There is room for theorizing that this enemy could have been Oliver. This creature was originally scheduled to be an enemy that would confront Sherry Birkin at the orphanage. The Wildcat was originally scheduled to appear in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis in Raccoon Park, but the Hunter Y replaced it. Presumably, it came from a raccoon zoo nearby and became infected unintentionally by the T-Virus. The Black Fog was originally slated for Resident Evil 4, and was supposed to be a new virus created by Albert Wesker to infect Leon Kennedy. The producers of Resident Evil 4 decided it needed to be dropped because of GameCube's technology at the time did not have the graphical power to make an animation that would look visually realistic. Among the many rejected Ganado designs for Resident Evil 4, perhaps the most interesting one is the Armored Ganado, which looks to be wearing medieval armor. Given that the Los Illuminados cult existed way back during the Spanish Inquisition, and they beat themselves up with the Las Plagas parasites back then too, some fans of the Resident Evil lore may find it enjoyable to play with the strong possibility that these could be armor sets from the original cult, given that the first design bears their symbol on the breastplate. There too is the possibility that they may have been original cult members that were trapped trapped in the caves below the castle. However, it is unclear if the overall lifespan is increased significantly by those infected with the parasite, as they would have had to survive for hundreds of years. Many other Ganado enemies were dropped as well. These enemies are shown here. The U-9 was originally an 80-foot tall behemoth that would have been the result of the Ouroboros virus in Resident Evil 5. Its worm-like visual elements give it striking resemblance to other Ouroboros-infected enemies that were included in Resident Evil 5. Some players theorized that battling this massive enemy would have required mounted artillery, or the satellite laser device that was used against the Ouroboros boss in the final build of Resident Evil 5. Had this creature been included in the final cut, it could have been potentially the tallest enemy ever in the Resident Evil series. 
Baker family was iconic to Resident Evil 7 and the franchise as a whole, perhaps compromising the creepiest aspect of the seventh main game in the franchise. These characters clearly got under the skin of many players, resonating vibes similar to villains in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie series. It is interesting to note that there were other members of the Baker family planned as well, including a pet dog, a servant, and the creepy twins. The producer of this game stated that the dog's name was going to be Diane and would have made its first appearance during the dinner scene of the game. Nothing is really known about the Baker's family servant or the creepy twins. In the beta version of Resident Evil 4, while infected with the virus, Leon Kennedy was able to encounter many hallucinations, including the Hookman, who would burst out of a painting. The Hookman had teleportation powers and was a relatively quick enemy that could be weakened by light. It is unclear if he was merely a hallucination of Leon's or an actual foe that appeared differently due to Leon's hallucinations. Either way, it is an interesting take on an enemy design which would have given Resident Evil a dash of psychological horror. Ultimately, the design was scrapped and simply existed to demonstrate the special effects of Resident Evil 4's engine. And there you have it, these are just a few of the many scrapped enemies from the Resident Evil series. Thanks for watching, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Peace.